Hey dolls, so today I just wanted to do a favourites video. Um, as you know, I don't do monthly favourites, I just do favourites like when I have them. Um, so, let's get started. Um, my first favourite is really boring, but um, I bought this in the sale and it's the Oral-B um, Professional Care, I think it's like the 600 something brush, and it's just an electric toothbrush. It was reduced from 50 quid to 25 and this is like the best thing ever. It like makes like a little zh zh sound every time it's done 30 seconds. You're supposed to clean your teeth for two minutes. And I used to get like plaque, um, like in between, let's see my teeth, I used to floss and stuff and it never come off. And this has got rid of my plaque. Like, it's so good. I wanted the pink one, but they were sold out online. And then when I went in the shop, they had the pink one. How annoying, because I got one as well. Um, so that's my first favorite. My second favourite is this little pineapple keyring and it's so cute. I have had um, one of these, this is actually my second one, um, for ages and I bought myself another one just because it's so cute and I just love it and I have it as a little decoration hanging from like my mug where I put like my makeup brushes in and it's just super cute and I love it. Um, another thing that I have been absolutely living for is um, my Dermalogica Multi-Active Toner. Now, the video that I put up last of my skincare routine, this was in it. And I actually bought all my Dermalogica products, I'd say like three months ago or longer ago, I just uploaded it super late. But I love this stuff. I used to love this stuff at college. Anybody who went to college with me, I don't think any of them watch my videos, but they would know that I loved this stuff then and I love this stuff now. It's so refreshing. Even like now I could just spray it on and then, in fact, I just ordered another bottle, but that's, that's there's still quite a bit in there. Another one of my favourites that I have to mention, this is probably one of my most used items ever, and it's this. It's a little handheld Hello Kitty fan, and I got this when I was in Bangkok, and I got it from the Hello Kitty cafe, and there's the details on the back there, but I got this free when I bought a cake and some juice, whatever, it was like 20 quid. This wasn't 20 quid, but the what I bought. And I love this. What I do is when I like use my fixing spray or when I've just put moisturizer on, moisturizer, moisturizer on before I put my makeup on, I always fan myself like this. I always get super hot in the face. So I'm always like, yeah. I love it. Fucking love it. Do you know what? I can swear now. You know why? Because I'm not allowed to make money from my videos anyway. So fuck you. <laughs> Not you watching. Um, so I then got, I feel like I'm doing a haul, I'm not doing a haul. My other favourite are the Stila um, Magnificent Metals. I love these, I've got two of them. And this is in Rose Gold Retro. And I absolutely love this. Sorry, somebody just messaged me on like um, Facebook, I don't know who it is. These are around £22. I got mine from Beauty Bay, but I think they sell them on Cult Beauty as well. Um, and they are worth it. They, like, the glitter is just unreal. Um, another one of my favourites is this here. I got this in Victoria's Secret in the sale in Jan. We are still in Jan right now. And it's Velvet Petals Fragrance Mist. Sexy Warm Woods, A Touch of Cozy gourmand wrapped in desire it literally smells like a perfume oh, it just smells so 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 nice i can't remember how much i paid for this i can't remember i think five pounds that was it i paid five pound in the sale um another favorite of mine which i don't think i've ever mentioned but this is my all-time favorite go-to foundation and this is what I'm wearing right now it's the only well it's the foundation that lasts the longest on my skin um, and it's the MAC Studio Fix fluid foundation this is the color NC 10 which is probably my color 
but I used to always use a slightly darker one and that's the one I've just purchased recently again because this is almost empty but this is probably my shade NC10 and I just love this stuff it's like literally just makes you look flawless and um, it's the only foundation that lasts a bit longer on me it does break me out though so I don't use it on a daily um, but I've used a lot of I've tried a lot of different foundation I've tried Kat Von D Lock It um, I've tried um, the NYX the dropper ones I've tried L'Oreal um, from the higher end ones um, it's really only this and the, the Kat Von D Locket, I think. Oh no, and I've got the Clinique as well, but the Clinique kind of... I was loving the Clinique beyond perfect, but it was then sort of like getting really smeary. I don't know if my skin's too oily or it was the primer that I was using. So this is still my favourite. And my all-time favourite powder to go with it, because I can't wear foundation without powder. It's just not happening. It's Studio Fix. MAC powder and I get this in NW15 because I'm a pale mouth well, so that's it there almost hitting pan I have another backup of these in my drawer anyway um, then another favourite of mine is the MAC prep and prime and this is the fix plus and this is just the normal scent I really want to try the coconut um, I actually bought this um, at the airport I think it was around May last year um, and because I had it in my drawer I kind of forgot to use it but I actually really love this stuff and I will be getting myself the coconut one it's probably my favorite um, fixing spray um, another thing that I have been loving is this highlighter palette here it's the Revolution um, Safe X palette and I am wearing the, so I'm trying to open it, I'm wearing this pinky colour here today um, and I think this is like £8 and it's amazing, like it's just so good, I just love it, I would highly recommend this if you love highlighter and I've used, I think I've used all of them, these darker ones here are not really very good for me but um, all the others I can use and I love it. Another highlighter that I'd got ages ago and I hadn't really been using that much and then I started using and now love is the, um, the Too Faced Love Light Blinded by the Light highlighter. I love the packaging, their packaging is always on point and that's it there, you can see that I've been using it. And um, I have a lot of highlighters so but this one here, it's it can be subtle, but you can also build it up, and that's why I really like this one, and because of the packaging. And another thing that I've been liking from Too Faced that I have done for ages are two of their blushes, and these are the blushes here. And again, I love this packaging. Um, I have four of these blushes, five actually, five. But ones I need mini size, so I, I do want to get all of them. But um, this one is Baby Love, I'll show you that. So this is like a, a, like a brownie kind of colour, um, so nice. And then this one is I Will Always Love You, and it's like a, a peachy colour. And I absolutely love these, so I'm just putting it back in my drawer. Um, so I'm trying to think what I've showed you, what I haven't. So the next thing that I've been loving is a recent purchase and it's the Revolution Iconic Division Palette and I'm wearing this on my eyes today and I've worn this, ever since I've got it I've worn this palette so I've done quite a few looks on this, um, not on my channel, as you can see the green there went a bit funny when I, I think I dipped my brush a bit hard, um, but it's, I think it's supposed to be a dupe for the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills and this colour here, it looks white but it's actually like a purpley iridescent, I've got it like in my inner corners and this is four quid, four quid, they have different ones as well but four quid, like what? I have so many high-end palettes um, and I love them all but 
this right now I've really been loving it and the fact that it's only four quid it's just yeah I also got their um concealer that everybody's been raving about and I used it today for the first time so I can't put that in a favorites yet um I would say it could be a little bit lighter it's not that brightening on me probably because I'm so pale but hey um, the final two things are fragrances. Um, this has been one of my favourites for ages and it's the Donna Valentino. I absolutely love this perfume. The bottle is gorgeous and it just smells divine. And another favourite um, scent is the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. And again, the bottle of this is so cute. I'll show you quickly because I keep this one in the box I don't use it as much that's it there it looks full but I have used it I bought this again at the airport when I last went and this one's quite expensive I think it was like 80 or 90 pounds I paid for this and that was at the airport um, so that's why I keep it in the box so I don't use it as much but I love it and that is all my friends so um, thank you very much for watching please give this video a thumbs up it would really help me out and click the subscribe button please and I will see you next time bye